You want to talk this time? No? Okay. So, we're getting ready to start building our deck, and so we've got our boards ready to go for the first part of it, and we're excited. Welcome to Tiny Time. Today, let's start part one of our deck building project. Now, how big is the deck? 10 Measures. by 24. 10 by 24. And our... <laughs> 10 by 24 feet. And our first, uh, first thing that we're going to be doing is digging holes to put in the supports and those kinds of things. So check it out and see how we put together our deck at the rear of our camper so that we can sit out there in the mornings and the afternoons and drink our coffee and watch the birds on the lake. And oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. We are placing our 33 foot travel trailer on a permanent site. And this is what it looks like behind our camper, at least for now. When operating power tools, make sure you wear your PPE, your personal protection equipment, especially a safety goggles or glasses of some sort. Also make sure that your equipment is in working order. Always maintenance your equipment and then clean your equipment when you're finished with the project. Begin by digging through any soft field dirt until you reach firm dirt or even rock. Add a layer of drainage rock and compact that down to create a firm base for your foundation stone. Don't forget to check those stones for level. Uh, on top of these stones is where the base of your 4x6 corner supports and your other 4x4 support posts will be placed. We'll show you that in a little while. We placed a total of 15 support posts for our 10 foot by 24 foot deck. We built the frame of our deck with two by eight boards and we attached the boards with construction lag screws. We added in a temporary support board that divided the original 10 foot by 24 foot deck into a 10 foot by 12 foot section. And we did this just to help us keep the exterior framework square. As a reminder, the four corner posts were four by six posts. The very center posts, as you can see in the image, were also four by six posts. And the other support posts were four by fours. Continue digging holes for your support posts by digging through any loose fill, compacting rocks into the bottom of your hole, topping that off with drainage gravel followed by your support stone, and don't forget to check to make sure that they are level. Then measure from the top of the block to the top of the frame to see how long you need to cut your support post. Next, carefully measure and then mark your post for cutting. Michael likes to use a utility knife to mark the posts. He prefers this due to accuracy, but as with any equipment, always use safety precautions. Align the small square with your original mark and continue marking across the post. Here Michael uses the skill saw to cut halfway through the post on the mark that he previously made. We then flip the post over, remark the board and continue making the cut.
This was a little bit of a deeper hole dug through some softer dirt. And so we added a little additional chat and then tamped it down again just to make sure that that post was firmly in the ground and added some larger gravel on top of that. We continued building the frame of our deck by using some of our scrap pieces as a temporary support until we could get the boards level where we wanted them. And where we had them in their approximate position, we would attach a temporary support board just to make sure that the main board stayed in place. Occasionally, we would pause in our construction just to check the frame for square and to check the boards for level. Uh -oh. Hey, we hit a snag. That's a cedar stump right where the corner post needs to go. Once the cedar stump obstacle was removed, we continued with the construction of our deck. To break the cement cap block uh, in order to use them for the post foundations, I'd use a chisel and a hammer to start the seam where I wanted the block to break. Apply a little bit of force and then your blocks are ready to go. Once the exterior dimensions of the deck were completed, we went back in and added an additional support post 
in the center of each 10 foot by 12 foot section. Once the support posts were in place, Michael used corner brackets to attach the bottoms of the post to the concrete block to give them additional stability. The framework is now complete for our 10 by 24 foot deck. Come check out our deck part 2 video to see how we finish the main deck platform. See you soon!